every once in a while, you hear a story and it sticks with you, and it can even change your life. This is the fisherman's story. This is the story that started the Be More With Less Stuff movement for me. While I knew all work and no play wasn't the way to go, I thought I would forever be stuck in the cycle of working to live. I thought I would always have a car payment, mortgage payment, credit card debt, and not enough money at the end of the month to live. I thought I had to work harder to make more, to buy more, and to have more materialistic stuff. At one time, I really thought that would make me better somehow. This story is my inspiration to slow down, relax, work less, and get real about how I want to live the second half of my life. Here is the story. An American investment banker was at a pier of a small coastal Mexican village when a small boat with just one fisherman docked. Inside the small boat were several large yellowfin tuna. The American complimented the Mexican on the quality of his fish and asked how long it took him to catch them. The Mexican replied, only a little while. The American then asked why didn't he stay out longer and catch more fish. The Mexican said he had enough to support his family's immediate needs. The American then asked, but what do you do with the rest of your time? The Mexican fisherman said, I sleep late, fish a little, play with my children, take siestas with my wife, stroll into the village each evening where I sip wine and play guitar with my amigos. I have a full and busy life. The American scoffed. I am a Harvard MBA and would help you. You should spend more time fishing and with the proceeds buy a bigger boat. With the proceeds from the bigger boat, you could buy several boats. Eventually, you would have a fleet of fishing boats. Instead of selling your catch to a middleman, you would sell directly to the processor, eventually opening your own cannery. You would control the product, processing, and distribution. You would need to leave this small coastal village and move to Mexico City, then LA, and eventually New York City, where you will run your expanded enterprise. The Mexican fisherman asked, but how long will this all take? To which the American replied, 15 to 20 years. But what then? asked the Mexican. The American laughed and said, that's the best part. When the time is right, you would announce an IPO and sell your company stock to the public and become very, very rich. You would make millions. Millions? Then what? The American said. Then you would retire, move to a small coastal village, where you would sleep late, fish a little, play with your kids, take siestas with your wife, stroll to the village in the evening where you could sip wine, and play your guitar with your amigos. What is your story?